Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of the job break. Now, today we're taking a look at Ninja following the change that came in patch 5.1. Ninja has become my main job, so I will do my best to explain it appropriately. Uh, I absolutely adore what they have done with Ninja, and I think it's so much more fun to play now. We'll get into all of the intricacies, including the different abilities, what they do, your Inky, how you should be using it, your Mudra, how you should be using those, and all that fun stuff. Uh, Ninky is the first thing you're going to notice right away. It comes off your basic combo. You get five for Spinning Edge. You get five for Gust Slash when it's comboed with Spinning Edge. And then for Aeolian Edge or for Armor Crush, you're going to get an additional ten. That means with your basic combo, you're generating five, five, ten, which of course is twenty. So per your basic combo, you'll get twenty every time you do a basic combo. As you can see, we can burn that for different abilities. So it adds up really, really quickly. Uh, you actually get a lot more Ninki than you would think before you realize that you've used it all up. And you also have Mug to be able to get more Ninki. So you have quite a few different options to spend it on. You also have your Mudra. Those are a big thing that confuses a lot of people. I know uh, I have them set up in a line so that I always get to push the same buttons every time to be able to use them. I recommend that you do the same. But uh, any mnemonic devices you want to come up with, I've seen a couple of different people use. Uh, I normally just, again, keep them in that position so that I can muscle memory which ones I want. You're always going to want to use your Huton, which is your Chi Jin 10 combo. This gives you a skill speed buff and allows you to get your other attacks out fast. Uh, you'll normally want to do this before the tank pulls if they give you a countdown. And if they don't, then you want to use it as soon as possible. Uh, you also want to do it early enough that you have a charge back. On your mudra so that you can use a trick attack early on but again if the tank doesn't give you a countdown and goes straight into the pull then you may use that first and because you have charges you can then immediately use your trick attack right after that trick attack being 10 followed by chi followed by Jin, and then your mudra button gives you your sweet on you can then use trick attack trick attack is the buff that makes ninja so special in a lot of ways it makes every party better because Ninja is there, as long as you are using Trick as much as you can. Uh, basically, for the course of 15 seconds, the target takes 5% more damage from every source. Which means during that window, during a Trick window, as I'll call it from now on, uh, you will be doing far more damage, and so will the rest of your party. So you really want to try and line up all of your buffs and all of your best abilities to do the most damage into that window. Another thing that I see a lot of Ninjas forget about is Shadow Fang. Shadow Fang is a very nice little dot. It doesn't do a ton of damage, but over the course of 30 seconds, it's 90 potency, which is pretty solid, and it increases your Ninki gauge as well. It also has its own recast timer, so it doesn't interrupt any combos. You need to be using it on cooldown, basically, uh, so that you get as much usage out of it as you can. And then, of course, like right now, my Ninki gauge is full. I need to be using that Ninki so that I'm not wasting it, because otherwise I'm wasting DPS. 300 potency on Bavakakra is really solid, and you don't ever want to throw that away. You get Ninki back so quickly if you're playing any anywhere close to Optimum, really, uh, that you don't want to burn Ninki. You want to be using it for DPS at all times so that you can get more of it back and be able to keep DPSing. Uh, what we want to do then is line up a trick window. So we're going to use our basic combo here. We're going to make sure that we have enough Huton. We don't want to risk dropping it. We're going to go and use a mug so that we get enough uh, Ninky back to be able to use a couple more abilities. Trick is back off cooldown, so we're going to sweet on. Trick attack. Then we're going to use Kasatsu, which I'll explain in a minute. We're going to get a Hyosho Ranryu out there. Go ahead and get a dream within a dream out there. With the assassinate, pop in a Bavakakra, and there we go. Theoretically, you could also use Bunshin. Trick's still up. We get one use off of Bunshin while Trick's up. Uh, I recommend using Bunshin first, especially if you have a full Ninky gauge to be able to make best advantage of it, but I'll show that when Trick comes back off and after we talked about some of the other abilities. So, we've talked about your basic combo, the Armor Crush variant of the combo. I uh, throwing Dagger instead because I was covering up my own stuff, not paying attention. Armor Crush version increases your Huton. So you'll want to keep using that in and around to be able to keep your Huton stacked up. I normally Aeolian Edge and then Armor Crush just to balance it out. But if you have Bunshin up, you want to go for your abilities that do a little bit more damage. So you're going to want to have your uh, Aeolian Edge as compared to your uh, Armor Crush. 
Ninja also requires uh, directional potencies. So if you do your Alien Edge from the rear, it's 480 potency as compared to just the regular 420. And if you do your Armor Crush from the flank, it's 460 potency as compared to the usual 400. If you are soloing, it doesn't really matter which one you use because you will be facing the target at all times and will not get those bonuses. But when you are playing in a group, you want to always be trying to take advantage of those bonuses. Uh, that means normally I will try to stay near closer to the rear and move for the flank instead of trying to stay at the flank and move for the rear because you get more damage from Alien Edge, which is your bread and butter melee combo anyway. So, Kasatsu. Kasatsu, for a very brief period of time, it's 15 seconds, uh, you will be able to use your Mudra, whether they're off cooldown or not, whether the charges have come up or not, and while they are being used, you're able to use special uh, Mudra as well that you're not normally able to do, and it increases the damage of your Mudra. So with a Kasatsu, if you use your Ten and your Jin, you instead get Hyosho Ranryu instead of Kyotan, which is your standard. And we should probably break down all of those. If you just use Ten, you get Fuma Shuriken. Those will come back off the of cooldown in a second. We can actually Ten Chi Jin to get another one. Fuma Shuriken. Kyotan is the second combo with Jin. And then if you bring in Chi, you get a Dotan, which is your basic uh, AoE Mudra that you're going to want to be using. It's uh, a lot of people will get mad at you to use on a single target because it is made for large groups and you should always have your, your Dotan down on large groups for sure. But there are better uses of it for single target unless you're going to have to be dodging a lot. Uh, for large groups, absolutely you want to get that Dotan out there. You want to slam that Dotan down and be doing a good amount of damage over time. Uh, but again, for single target, there's better ways to use that Mudra that will not hurt you in the long run as compared to Doton. Especially if your tank moves the boss, if the boss has to be moved a lot, or if the boss has no aggro table, Doton is basically worthless. Alternatively, if you use 10 followed by Chi, you'll get Raiton, which is a very good move for if you are having to move away from the boss to dodge a mechanic, you can Raiton. You also, of course, have your throwing daggers to be able to keep up damage while you're moving away from the boss. If you use Kasatsu and then Chi followed by Jin, or Tin, I'm sorry, you get uh, Goka Mekyaku, which is a much more powerful version of the same combo for your Katan. So that'll be your AoE version. I know this all may seem complicated. There's a lot of Mudra, and uh, you really have to get that muscle memory to be able to make, take the best advantage of it. But we'll walk through them all again as well in just a moment. So again, if you just use 10, you get Fuma Shuriken. If you then add Jin, you get Kyotan. And if you then add Chi, you get Dotan. Throw in another Bavakakra. Again, as you can see, we just build Ninki. There's no reason not to spend it unless you were t uh, saving up for a Trick Attack window. If you start from the other way with Chi, you still get Fuma Shuriken. Then you get Kyotan still, but then you end with Hyotan. And then as they're about to come off the charge again, we'll start with Jin and show you those. If you start with Jin and then go to Chi and then go to Ten, you still get Yutan. So it doesn't really matter with the middle one. It's mainly on where you end up, basically. So Ten Chi Jin or Chi Jin Ten or Ten Chi Jin or Ten Jin Chi. Again, I know that's a lot. An easy way to be able to check it out is up here in your job window. You have Uma Shuriken, 500 potency. Very nice. Only costs one Mudra, but your Mudra are all tied into the same recharge. So it doesn't really matter how many Mudra anything's cost. It's more about maximizing the use of your Mudra. Uh, Katan, of course, being your AoE. Raitan, of course, being your single target. Kyotan being a single target that has a bind. Not as powerful as Raitan, so there's not really much reason to use it. 800 potency over Kyotan, which is 400 potency. But if you have a purpose to use it, maybe you need to bind something, go ahead. Kyotan, of course, being your uh, weapon skill, skill speed buff. You always want to keep that up. Just like so. Dotan, as we said, being the uh, damage over time dot AoE. And then, of course, Sweetan, maybe your most important mudra, because it's the one that lets you use Trick Attack. Without Sweetan, you can't use Trick Attack. So you always want to make sure that you have your Ten, Chi, Jin, 
for Sweet Time. Trick Attack, 350 potency, 500 went from the rear, but you get the trick bonus either way. A good trick window, you want to then get in a Goku or a Kyosha Ranryu. You want to get in that dream within a dream going into Assassinate, which we'll explain in a minute. You want to get in your uh, Shade Walker, Shadow Fang, if you haven't reached, Shade Walker doesn't exist anymore. Uh, that's an old ninja ability. And you want to get in your Bunshin, which we'll explain again in a minute, uh, with your basic combo to be able to keep up that DPS as much as possible. Ninja is a complicated job. It absolutely is. I'm not going to try and say it's not. The Mudra alone make it extremely complicated. But if you can get that complication down, I think Ninja is incredibly rewarding to play. So let's get into your two Kasatsu Mudra as well. Kyosha Ryu, 1,200 potency, plus it gets the buff from Kasatsu. Very, very nice. Uh, very damaging. And Goka Mekyaku, which is your AoE version, 750 potency with no drop-off, and it gets the buff from Kasatsu. You always want to have those up uh, whenever Kasatsu is up. You want to be using those. Trick Attack, as we said, 350 from the front, 500 from the rear, and gives you that wonderful bonus where the enemy takes 5% more damage for 15 seconds from all sources. We have, of course, Bava Kakura, as we said, 300 potency, cost 50 Ninki. And Hellfrog Medium, we haven't talked about. That's your AoE version. 200 potency uh, with no drop-off, also cost 50 Ninki. Mug, of course... Gives you 40 Ninki. Very, very nice just to suddenly have that 40 Ninki. And does an additional potency of 150. It's nothing to sneeze at on its own, really. So you should make sure that you're using it. And you have an increased chance of additional items being dropped by the target if Mug is dealt before or as the finishing blow. Not a big thing, but it's nice. Uh, let's get into Bunshin, and then we'll get into Dream Within a Dream and Assassinate, into our roll actions, and then one more time show a trick window. Bunshin's a little special. You get five stacks of it. And if you use a melee attack while you have a stack of Bunshin, it does an additional 200 potency on top of your regular potency. If you do a ranged attack while under the effect of Bunshin, you get 100 extra potency on that. And if you do an area of effect attack while Bunshin is up, you get 100 as well. And every time the Shadow lands an attack, you get 5 more Ninki for your gauge. So you're refilling your gauge after spending your gauge which allows you to get more Bava Cockers out to be able to get more damage out. It also lasts for 30 seconds, so you don't have to use it right away and then have to use all five abilities. So, for instance, we use our Bunshin. You can see the shadow with us as we move. Uh, we're getting extra potency on every single one of those attacks, but you only get five, so you don't get two full combos, unfortunately. But it definitely is nice, especially during a trick window. That's when you normally want to use a Bunshin. So, then you have Dream Within a Dream. Every 60 seconds, you can do 200 potency, and it triggers Assassinate Ready for an additional 200 potency. These are off GCD abilities. You just have them, and you should absolutely be using them. They are great for trick windows because they also get that extra bonus, and they're free. They don't cost anything. You can weave them into your basic weapon skills without having to worry about it at all. Tenchi Jin allows you to execute your Mudra. Uh, you can't move during Tenchi Jin, but it allows you to use your Mudra even if your Mudra are still on cooldown. So I will normally use it to get an extra Hyotan, or Hyotan, that is, or to throw out another Dotan, or if I just really need a Suitan because Trick is up and I use my Mudra poorly, then I will throw those out there. As for your other abilities, uh, obviously you want Bloodbath, you want Second Wind, you want Faint, you want Arm's Length, and you want Leg Sweep for your additional abilities. All of those are really good for your roll moves. Uh, there's no reason not to have them on your bar because they're all going to help you survive. Uh, then, of course, True North to negate your requirements for when you're soloing or you're on a boss that doesn't move or it's not safe for you to move and you still want to get that extra alien edge damage or you want to get that extra trick attack damage, you can True North and then trick attack. Used to, you only got the additional effect of trick attack if you were doing the positional correctly. That's not the take anymore that's not how it is so you don't have to true north into trick attack but it's still something to remember and then of course you have your own ninja cooldown in the form of shade shift uh which nullifies damage up to 20 percent of your maximum hp for 20 seconds it's very very good and can keep you alive so please don't forget about it and you have mesui so if you have a sweet on out and you don't have a trick attack to use you can use mesui to eat that sweet on and instead you get 50 ninki back which can be very helpful you also have hide. It's not really going to be helpful uh, during most combat because you can't use it during combat at all. But if you use hide, you restore two charges to all your mudras. So in between pulls in a dungeon, 
or in a raid, you can use a quick hide to get your Mudra back for the next pull. So let's go ahead and show off, uh, now that we've gone over all the abilities, let's show off what a trick window would look like. I'm going to hit with this and then trick. Then we'll use Shosho Ranryu. We're going to go ahead and use assass or, uh, Dream Within a Dream. Do a basic combo. Assassinate. We're going to Bunshin at this point. Get in that one. We have five seconds left, so we're going to go in Baba Kakra. Go ahead and Mug again, which gets us to get another Baba Kakra. And there we go. We didn't get all our Bunshin stacks because I weaved in a Shadow Fang that I still had left over that I hadn't used uh, before the Trick Window. But that's basically what a Trick Window is going to look like. So what I did... Trick window, trick attack went up. We had 15 seconds from there. Immediately Kasatsu'd and then Chin into Jin to get Kyosho Ranryu. Uh, while that was coming off cooldown, hit the first hit of the combo, used Dream Within a Dream. Hit the second hit of the combo, used Assassinate, weaved in a Bava Kakra. Uh, at some point in there, I don't remember when, I hit Bunshin and then weaved in another Bava Kakra while continuing on with the basic combo. And that's a basic trick window. It's not timed as well as it could be. There are definitely better ways to do a trick window. But that is the basic one that fits almost all situations. Because everything lines up almost perfectly. As you can see, Trick's already back up. Kasatsu's back up because they're on the same timer. Dream Within the Dream's back up. Assassinate's back up. Uh, Shadow Fang is back up because, again, they're all on the same timer. So all of that just rolls in together really well with a good trick attack window. Finally, for your ranged... If, or not ranged, I'm sorry. If you're in an AoE, you have Death Blossom following into Hake Mujin Sato, which allows you to also increase your Qton. So you never have to worry about dropping Qton once you have it in an AoE situation. It also increases your Ninki, of course, by 10 for combo. So you can also get out those Hellfrog Mediums to be able to keep up your AoE. And then, of course, you have Tenchi Jin to be able to drop another Doton. The last big thing I wanted to touch on with Ninja is Shikuchi, which is maybe the best skill Ninja has. I know Trick Attack is the best, but with Shikuchi, let's say that you're fighting a boss and you get a large AoE directly on top of you. Uh, you can Shikuchi out of that AoE. In combat, doesn't matter. You can Shikuchi back to the boss or away from the AoE, however you want to do it. And you have two charges of that every 60 seconds, basically. So it, it's a very powerful cooldown. To be able to get away from things even not using a defensive cooldown per se uh, because the best way to not take damage is to not be where the boss is hitting and shikuchi is just a free do that uh, which i absolutely love i think ninja is in a really solid place i love playing it uh, let me know your thoughts on ninja in the comment section down below if you think that there's a better way to utilize that trick window please let me know uh, but with all that said i have been trey this has been the full spectrum and remember to always enjoy the full spectrum that ninja has to offer.